Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ostrogoths in Total War Attila, my name is Ben Pope. We left off after just kind of doing nothing. We had a, we had a, qu a queen regent for um, a leader for a while. Our enemies, the Cthungians, have stopped attacking my capital. And I set repair to all of these just in case they let me be for a bit. They'll make back to money that I use for repair much quicker um, and today we're gonna build up a couple of forces this one is pretty much built and we want to attack them uh, before they do anything else we don't really have much of a force uh, they are strength rank ranked 7 and we are strength ranked 5 I don't know how I'm strength ranked 5 because I don't really have much to show for I have like you know, yeah, that's my land, but uh, I guess just because I have, um, you know, two, three, four, five, six cities, um, probably makes me that good, which kind of makes you think of uh, what all the other nations are doing since everybody's doing crap um, for process, for progress. Uh, that that kind of, yeah. So, uh, we have to figure out a way to, uh, not have, not be fighting these guys anymore. Take them out somehow. So, I set my, last time I set my war target on them. Hopefully some of my allies will... I do have some allies, don't I? The Visigoths have been beat back. Oh, there's my allies. I don't know. Quadians who are just in a horde mode doing nothing. The Yazigs, the same, doing nothing. Visigoths getting their butt kicked. Um, and I'm gonna have to be afraid of what the Eastern Romans are gonna do towards me pretty soon if I don't um, beef up my land. Um, as far as trading, I still can't trade with these guys, and um, you know, it's improving, but do I really want them to own this? Probably not, but do I want to be friendly with them for now? Yeah, so, that without as you see there, it's low, low chance for me to get anything going on. Um, also, faction-wise, we now have a high king, his name is Vidimir, and uh, he's 17. I haven't done any actions with him yet. I could seek a wife, but we'll just wait a minute. And Vidimir is gonna probably take over uh, an army somewhere, and uh, or make or make his own army. I don't know yet. So yeah, everything here is desolate because uh, I think the Visigoths got beat out of there. They abandon that spot and they just have nothing in Corinthus, a uh, place that I wanted to take for myself a while back. So we're going to end the turn and um, Theodomir here has need of a skill. He's a governor. Um, so if something happened to his cunning, he's stupid. Uh, well, quite frankly, this man is thicker than a whale omelette. I've never had whale almond before, but that sounds pretty thick. So, um, if I was to increase his melee attack uh, with more zeal, that would help. But he's just a governor, so I don't know. I could give him. I can give him construction cost here with zeal, since he is a governor, and uh, I'm doing okay on food. Uh, let's do negative two corruption here. I think. Yeah. Right. Done. Now we can end our turn. Um, as you're, as we are going through the end turn, um, today is Wednesday when I'm recording this, and I've just watched the new announcement announcement from Creative Assembly about Warhammer Total War, and I watched it a couple of times. It's it's a good trailer. Uh, looks like the next Warhammer title, uh, not expansion or you know, 
map pack or anything like that because I'm sure they'll have quite a bit more content to give us for Attila. But the next title is going to be Warhammer Total War, which is kind of exciting. We knew that they acquired the Warhammer uh, rights a while back and that they were going to work on this and they have um, mentioned that they have been working on the title for a while now that they released the news that this title is in the works. And um, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I haven't played many of the latest Warhammer titles because uh, they were not implemented very well. But with a franchise like Total War and their ability to make a good game, it should be... Uh, age of five, boy passed away. Um, so it should be good. Political gain. Okay, so uh, this man's hungry for power has politically positioned himself to take office without your approval. No, I think I told him to take office. He may be suited for the task, but can you afford to let his ambition threaten your family's power? Um, I'm just going to block him. Okay, so office secured for Tudomir. He's an elder. Uh, mercenary commander. F uh, this commander. Okay, who's got this? Um, replenishment. Alright, so that something happened. Office secured for Philimer. He's a judge. And office secured for Arjbaud. Arjbaud. Cool. He's a companion. So let's look at this. Um, was it... Was it somebody... Come on. It was this guy that was trying to become something and I blocked him. He's a general in Pannonia. Um, she can marry again which might be good for us we can marry her again she's only 34 how how he's 45 uh let's have her hmm. let's see if she can marry come on click what's going on this one ah gosh okay arrange marriage with Arjbud Arjbud Hmm, he's a governor in Dardania. Um, well, he's kind of the only one that we can marry, so let's just do it. She's going to marry that dude. Um, do I want him to... Hmm, he's the high king. Vidimir, the High King, he rose and did good. I was planning to make like a whole poem for that, but it's not gonna work. Uh, one question I have is about, uh, if you guys know, about the sanitation. Um... It seems like it's something that that is individual for each for each town, which kind of sucks because then I have to bring something a sanitation a sanitation building here too, or else. Uh, that kind of kind of blows. That means I have to get rid of this chemistry range. And. Um, I mean, it's just eating up food right now. So we're gonna dismantle that and put something in. I, I just don't want any problems with sanitation. Okay, how are you guys doing? Uh, this has a bathhouse. It's not of my own. And I'll be able to build something here soon, so... Sweet. 
I'm saving up money for fixing the sanitation here eventually. <laughs> I still haven't done that. All I can do is the granary. Okay, so... I can build something here. Well, it's our capital. Hmm. We can definitely put something in that's going to give us more uh, industry and another uh, unit, of, um, another recruitment slot. Would be nice, huh? And we don't want all our equipment there, but let's just develop that land. It's not giving us anything, but all I could do is, uh, oh, I could only do a town center or a chapel. I already have a town center. So I guess you're limited to one artisan per city. Conversion costs 1500, building a new one costs 2000. Okay. Where do I want? This kind of sucks, but I need to peek into this land for just a second. Station rebels. Wow. Hey guys, shouldn't you be like, you know, uh, cataphracti? Looks like a lot of um, Roman type units, but it says station rebels. Right, so I just want to make sure that the Eastern Romans are not attacking me anytime soon. Um, I've been chatting too much. Let's see if we can recruit. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to get the army. So uh, what's their terrain state? The Bear Sons? I don't think they... Alright, let's reinstate those. Fearless Warrior. It's got War Cry. It's got Loyalty and Good in the Fight. Ready for orders. So he's gonna be here to improve that. Let's see, we need to give him skills. He's gonna be Wolf. And it's going to be... Yeah, he's going to be... He's gonna I, want, I want both of those, but I want the infantry commander as well. Um, okay, and let's... Let's rename this to Iron Wolves. That's right, is the Iron Wolves. High King Vidimir rode on a wolf. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, actually, with the next Warhammer, uh, I mean, with the next Total War, the Warhammer, uh, we might be able to ride on a wolf. You know, there'll be all sorts of beasts around. Um, if you are enjoying this episode, please do hit the like button and comment. Let me know what you think. Overall, I, I know I'm not very good at uh, Total War, or I'm, not, I'm probably not very exciting to listen to any um, by any stretch of imagination. But, you know, I'm out here doing this for fun, and I'm just hoping you guys are enjoying it. And um, 
any sort of little support you can show by commenting and hitting the, hitting the like button kind of helps me out and helps the channel out I it would be nice to be more successful quicker but even the slow steady pace that I have at the moment is good enough for me uh, as long as I can keep it up you know keep on keep on going I'm gonna take a sip of what is it coffee I have coffee Fifteen minutes straight of talking, of straight talking, I should say. Um, this isn't good. Well, actually, it's it's okay because this is actually the army that I can fight with. So I'm having to fight the Dacians. I can sally forth. Um, Let's see. I'm not liking those cataphract units, but I have a lot of a lot of spears. So let's let's just fight this on the field. We haven't had a combat for a while. An actual fight. I should say we had few fights, but it will be Battle of Scoopy, 408 AD, and my garrison army against rebel Dacians. Too bad I can't ask him to join me. Um, you know, it'd be nice. What was it? Medieval 2 Total War? Where you can do that? You can just be like, hey, uh, let's bribe you for a bit of money. <laughs> I enjoy doing that. Right, so I probably should have sallied forth, but <laughs> what? Why was I thinking? I don't understand myself sometimes. Oh, look, it's Argibode. Where are you at, buddy? Buddy, buddy. All right, so we'll have Argibode and his people. Uh, Come out here. We want them to Ready for battle. Right, well, I, you know what? I just want them to be a, a, a number, but not locked formation. And um. These guys are going to come on here. All right, I'll make this quick, I promise. Right, you guys. Be there with bows behind you, or start out in front of you, and then have our swords. Um, let's leave our swords back here. Just in case we need to. Need to like, you know, intercept something. All right, and um, if I was to put a barricade, General. With uh, with the swords. Nope. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Uh, 
Okay, so let's put a barricade somewhere. If I if I could remember how to do that. No, where is the button? Oh golly. Oh, like that. Okay, so you can do you can do this one. There we go. It was either there or there. You couldn't like do more than one. So that's how it works. You, you can only place it where they want you to place it. When a unit of missile troops is selected. Alright, so we move those guys out there, we move these guys over here. We will crush the enemy with our greater numbers. Uh we are hoping to split off. Like so. Probably we are the Lord soldiers. Lose. All right, let's go get that uh, that thing over there. And we're going to bring our swords in support. What's going on here, everybody? Warriors, eagles, I don't have any um, actual. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their units has rallied. Missiles ready. Oh, why don't we guys? Why don't we just stay here, guys? And our men flee the field of battle. This is All right. Well, I don't know what. I don't know what I did. Trying to take out their uh, uh, let's go melee mode. All right, push in, push in, push in. Come on, guys. Are you still shooting? I think you are. Why don't you shoot at that? All right, here. Uh, how about we help with this? And then you guys can over there. You guys can. The general has been killed. Excellent. 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 That was 
brutal. I don't know what's going on, but my horses are probably winning the fight, so. I'm gonna halt. Um, gonna go out there. Victory! Alright, let's end the battle. Well, um, we had a decisive victory. Um, what did we learn from here? We learned that um, probably should be more careful with our horsemen and that our basic our Germanic uh, spears are not good enough to um, I can take on warriors, I can ransom just take on warriors and those guys will, we will have to take them out or else the enemy is killed in battle obviously um, the, f the flight thing subject Zazo this very night there will be a quarreling in the great hall as our nobles compete in the flighting. Do you wish to participate? If not, one of your generals has offered to represent you. Engage in faction politics. These two have been successfully married. Alright, that's good. Yeah, she was... Uh, she was widowed and we... <sighs> okay. Well, um, Vidimir is a, uh, high, is a inexperienced, uh, fighter, so let's task a champion, uh, or I can, you know, um, what does it say? Ha, huh. like cavern dogs suckling at a teat, a teat? It's about different. They will run to their mothers with their trails, with the tails between between their legs. I, for some reason, I couldn't read. Um, so there's actually a fight in the Great Hall, and we have to uh, prove our supremacy. I can enter myself as King Vidimir. You know what? Let's just do that. I don't want to. Uh, you know, he's 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 good enough for that. He's he's over here, but he'll be like, yeah, I can. I can enter this this fight thing for you guys. And do it. Um, so, I'm almost fully replenished. I'm gonna go after these guys. Hopefully, I can get them. Uh, we will auto resolve the issue. Protectively, we have more bows, so. And um, that kills off the rebels. Too bad they were just stations. We're gonna take on warriors because they, you know, they deserve to fight for a better cause. Um, let's peek back here. With our spy, see what's going on. Uh, those guys are still there. Is there nothing else? I don't know what they're waiting for. I don't like the idea of them sitting there. Um, we have the heralds of the four winds who could make sail. Could set sail, but not sure tide. where to. Um, we have enough money to build something. So I think that's it's overdue that we build this granary. It's actually cheaper than we first anticipated, and I'm not making as much money as before. Uh, possibly because oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's see why. Population surplus. And we killed in battle, yeah we okay, so Dardania has 
population surplus which is this no the heck take me to Dardania buddy oh hi <laughs> Uh, we can't build anything, but let's develop the land, see what's available. We can probably bring in a... Uh, bring in... Oh, I would definitely do the lead deposit. Yeah. Chieftain's house. Arian Baptistry. Right. I already have one of those, right? I have an artisan and I can... Yeah, we go wood cover or... Mounted things... You think you'll want one of each eventually, right? I think uh, I probably lost some money by not having... You can't. Are you, are you serious? I have to demolish this as well in order to. Alright. Huh. Let's go for one more turn. Philomer. Why? Um, he's. lacking the traditional number of grandparents. He's a governor, so. Uh, let's give him. improve construction costs and make it better okay make it better for yeah food and, and ammunition sweet next be praised. How can I help? this guy's a general let's go infantry commander and Yeah, sure. And this guy is my... Oh, he's not quite right. He's... <laughs> I haven't made nearly enough money today. Honey today. Bzz, bzz, what? He thinks he's a bee. And he's phlegmatic. Right. Um, let's give him wolf. And let's give him. I, you know what? Let's give him this since he's got the biggest army. Um. Okay, I think that's it. Winter is coming. Next turn. Uh, looks like all my allies are leaving. I wonder if the Visigoths will actually do something from that position. They have a town with lead. Um, I think one of my one of my key concerns right now is that my capital is not connected to the sea, so I can't really do any trading. Uh, and there's a lot of things I gotta fix, but that's that's one of those one of those main things. Uh, maybe, I don't know, might not happen this episode, I might not be able to get an army. Ooh, okay, good, they're leaving. Might not be able to get an army ready for our new high king, but I might be able to do it next episode. Hoping. You know, you know if these if these guys are of, uh, friends of mine would just actually settle down into Italy and be able to support me from there would probably help a bit a bit more than you would think disease outbreak in Salona you know what I just I just hidden treasure 
Alright, let's let's uh, talk about that later because this guy. Um, we are building the greenery, which is going to give sanitation. But at the moment, that's not happening. So, um, uh, where can we go? Really quick, I want to see how much it costs to nineteen thousand to occupy. Uh, well, with the number of soldiers I have, it would be 60 of the soldiers, so half of the force. Uh, let's put him, like, over here, that way he doesn't um, get any diseases. Catching a terrible disease would not be the first thing you want your High King to do. Alright, Mr. S Mr. Spy, why don't we come out here? Okay, so those guys are out there. Good, good, good. I won't have to worry about them for a bit, I think. Uh, let's go back across our border. Just so I'm not like, you know, in those people's lands. I mean, I want, I want those lands for myself. But so we are at twenty six uh, twenty six hundred because we demolished this, I believe. Uh, so we can upgrade the greenery to stores. Not sure that I want it. Twelve hundred eighty three hundred. This is already mine, okay. I was going to build... It's, it's costing, it's, uh, it's the same amount of bonuses, so I'll just leave it. Scoopy needs. I think we're gonna go for the lead deposit. Be How can I help? Right. Warriors all. So we kind of survived another year. We had a battle, and there's our high king, Vidimir. Ready to take on the world. Uh, let's look at what this is before. Okay, we found a large hoard of gold hidden in a cave with this mining. What should we do with it? Give it to the army. This could alleviate the army's costs for some while yet and pay for some mercenaries too, I wager. We can give it to the people. The people deserve the bounty of this fictitious find distributed equally amongst them. I think we're gonna be jealous and give it to the army. Oh, not jealous. Gosh. Um. Oh my god. Okay. You know. You know what I mean. I'm stingy. We want stuff for ourselves. Um. Yep. Just like that. Let's. Let's look at. Let's look at things from here. Like this. There he is, led by Vidimir, the Iron Wolves. Thank you guys for watching. I will come back in a couple of days and have another episode of this. I'm working on an intro video for my next campaign, um, which is a campaign that you guys voted for, the few of you that did, that did vote, and the winner uh, faction from there. Um, it's not a secret, but I won't say it right now because I want that video, the intro video, to kind of just have like a 
you know, kind of have you guessing what it is until uh, until it uh, announces at the end. So I'm working on that, and that's coming soon. And I do appreciate all that you do, and uh, all the support you give me with likes and comments. And if you have the time and the will, please do more of that. I could use it. Um, yeah, so enough talking for me. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.